we go. Ladies and gentlemen, pull the belts tight. Your IMCA hobby stocks are off and running. Green flag. Off into one and two they go. Bacon had some issues. Hanger, your race leader. Taven Burkhart, 240. Another good hobby stock. He's to the inside. Side by side. Off into one and two they're going to go. The Wild Child showing his way around the high side of the 3 8 mile. Here comes Binken back to second. It'll be Garrett Hager, Brady Binken, Taven Burkhart, your top three at the line. Daniel Irwin, your Colton Pfeiffer, I should say, your fourth place car. Then it's the battle side by side. Cody Williams, Joel Dix for your fifth place. Lyle Russell, seventh place, looking out, waiting to get up in there. As here they come out of turn number four, Lyle Russell cranks her up to the outside. Cody Williams might have a problem. Slow down the front straightaway. <laughs> down the back straightaway they will run. Hager, Binken, Burkhart, your top three. Then it's Colton Pfeiffer. Now Lyle Russell. Is Russell going to move on by caution, gonna come out. I'm not sure what's going on, but green flag getting ready to go. Back in the air, we're underway. Hager up on the loud pedal, there they go. Off into one and two. Not quite sure what the donuts were there by the 53 KT Kyle Thompson, but down the back straight away they go. Here comes the battle for the lead. Brady Binken. He's got the sniffer working up front. He can smell the lead to the outside of Garrett Hager. Side by side. New race leader. It's Brady Binken. So Binken, your race leader. Garrett Hager now down to the bottom side. So far tonight, that top shelf has been the preferred line. Around the outside for Brady Binken. He's working that outside. He's got three car lengths between him and Garrett Hager. So they work around turn number four. Then it's going to be the 71 Colton Pfeiffer, 22R Lyle Russell. He's got a lot of company out the back door. Got Cody Williams. Caution going to come out. And for green flag is back in the air. Away we go once again. Here comes Hager, going to let her sail down to the bottom side and one and two, slide her up. He's door to door with Brady Binken, but Brinken, a lot of muscle in that machine as he'll go right around, gets him cleared, and Hager squeezes back up in line there in that top shelf. Oh, a little crossed up goes the 77. Might have cut back up in front of the bumper of the 98Z of Olmstead. Oh, hold on, Garrett Hager. Hager trying to find some racing groove his car likes. Well, that time it worked. He went top to bottom, back to top through one and two, and got right back to the bumper of Brady Binken. That's where he stays down the front straightaway. Off into one and two. Let's see if he goes again. He'll get up onto the bump there. Just coming in. Yeah, he'll go top, bottom. Now door to door with Brady Binken down the back straightaway. Caution going to come out. Car around in turn number four. That's the 19 of Billy Turner. Go back green. Brady Binken, Garrett Hager, your front two. Green flag is back in the air. Colton Pfeiffer running there in that third spot. He's going to have company out the back door. That's Cody Williams and Zach Olmstead. Both drivers. Well, Williams goes top. Now back to bottom. Olmstead stays top. Three wide down the back straightaway. Cody Williams working down to the inside of Colton Pfeiffer. That is the battle for third. Four cars there as here comes Taven Burkhart. He's worked his way back up through the field. Now to the bottom side. Really the only car down on the bottom side as they go off into one and two. Binken, Hager, Pfeiffer. Now the side-by-side -side battle between Olmstead and Burkhart. Olmstead hits that rut, gets the back end a little bouncy, but nothing hurts him really there that time around. And again, Brady Binken still leading this race that time around. Five-tenths of a second back to Garrett Hager. Brady Binken ran a 20.02. Hager ran a 20.14. So Brady Binken just a little quicker than the wild child, Garrett Hager. Let's see if Garrett kind of goes back to that line he was trying to run before that caution came out that got him to the back bumper. It's going to go off into one and two. And last time he went high, kind of diamond down to the bottom. And no, doesn't do it that time. He just stays high and lets her eat around the outside. It went now five tenths of a second. And that time around, Garrett Hager, fastest car out on the racetrack. <clears throat> Crossed flags were halfway done. Brady Bacon, Garrett Hager. And again, two laps in a row now. Garrett Hager, fastest race car out on the track. Brady Bacon's 20-22 to Hager's 20-05. 
And here comes Garrett Hager. He's reeling in race leader Brady Megan. It looks like it takes Garrett a couple laps just to get a little comfortable up front. Now they go right to the back bumper again. Off into one and two. That's the battle for your race lead right behind them. Another two-car battle between Colton Pfeiffer and Olmstead. Olmstead kind of gets up into that dry dirt around the outside. He'll drop her down, but up front again, side by side. Here comes Garrett Hager down to the bottom side, trying to make it work. Slide job, and Olmstead gets the boot off into three and four. Zach Homestead pulled the slider on the 21 or the 71 of Colton Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer was going to have none of it and gave him the boot. And around goes Homestead in turn number two. Does a donut there in the infield. I think gets her pointed the right direction. I can't see the car anymore. And caution is going to come out. Oh, flagman Johnny Moppin waves the green flag, and we are rolling once again here for your IMCA Hobby Stocks presented by Golden Plains Trucking. And off into one and two, everybody going to go the choo-choo around the outside. Taylor Burkhart drops to the bottom side, though. He's going to pick up the spot for now on the 71 of Colton Pfeiffer. Here comes Garrett Hager. He is all over the back. Bumper and around goes Braxton Berry. Braxton Berry around. Sean Weigel had to get up on the binders. I think for the most part, Weigel just gave him a love tap. And drivers set to go once again. Green flags in the air. We're back to racing. And again, 12 laps down here in your IMCA Hobby Stock main event. And again, it's the 7-Eleven. Brady Binkin up to the outside. Down the back stretch. Garrett Hager. Eh, going to get about a car length back, but Hager stays right with him this time. Now he's going to take a peek a little bit through three and four, and he'll fall back in line right to the back bumper. Very close. That time around, Bra Brady Bacon ran a 20.20. Garrett Hager ran a 19.95. So Garrett Hager, fastest race car out on the track right now. He's just trying to figure out how he wants to get around the 7-Eleven of Brady Binken. Trying to size up the 7-Eleven off into one and two they go. And that time around, very close there. Brady ran a 20-20, and Garrett Hager ran a 20-22. So Brady just a little tick quicker there. Here comes Hager again, and a right to the back bumper through turn number three and four. Trying to get a good run, and again, Bumper to bumper, battle for your lead, and here comes Hager. He's going to drop the nose, going to try the line, and there goes Cody Williams. He's going to lose a couple spots. Thought Cody was going to go up off the top, but up front, battle for the lead. Beatty Binken working that outside line. Hager, he's got to go to the bottom if he's going to get around him. Car around and turn number two. Caution comes out. It's Garrett Coleman. And lights are going to go out again. Brady Binken. Your race leader, green flag is in the air. Here we go back to racing. And Binken, he's got company this time. It's Garrett Hager. Hager's not messing around anymore. Now they're side by side down to the three and four. Garrett Hager work on the bottom side. Hager looked like he slowed, maybe not, but Brady Binken right around the outside. He will power back to that top spot. Brady Bacon, race leader. Garrett Hager right to the back bumper once again down the back straight away they go. Back there in that third spot, it's Colton Pfeiffer. Then it's 250, Taylor Burkhart. Then it's Cody Williams. Lyle Russell, Zach Olmstead's working his way back up the pack. Then it's Daniel Irwin. As they run off into one and two. That time, about three-tenths of a second. Brady Binkin just a tick faster, a 20-33 to a 20-42. White flag in the air. One more lap to go, and now it's go time for Garrett Hager. If he's going to try to get around the 7-11, and he's got one more shot. Going to try to get her to turn down to the bottom side. He can maybe get a run out of two. No, he's got one more corner to try and get it done. Off into one or three and four they go. He'll go now down to the bottom side. Checkered flag in the air. Your race winner, Brady Binkin.